Is the GoTrade app safe to use? Is it regulated or is it a scam? Now, these are very important questions to answer because GoTrade makes a very bold promise. They say they are the Robin Hood for the world. Now, Robin Hood is a very popular stock trading app in the US and it has made a lot of money for its investors, but it's limited to US citizens. So in other words, GoTrade is claiming to be the Robin Hood app for non-US citizens, for people like you and me. So it's very exciting that there's an app for the rest of us that want to make money in the US stock market. But we need to be sure, is GoTrade safe? Is GoTrade legit? Is it GoTrade regulated? Or is GoTrade a scam? Now we'll answer those questions in this video. Before we get into that, just a quick intro. If this is your first time here, I'm Ronald and welcome to the Dealmaker channel where we talk about investing in multiple asset classes such as stocks and real estate. Now, very important to know, this video is not sponsored by GoTrade. I made this independent investigation because I got a question from the GoTrade app review that I made yesterday. So this is the review that I made and down here is a question from Ma'am Ariane. Is the GoTrade app regulated and safe to use? Not a scam? So we need to be sure that the money we put in here is safe and protected and that's why I made this independent investigation just for you guys. So this information is completely unbiased and free to you. I only ask that you support me either by liking the video, subscribing to the channel if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, or buying me a coffee for only $5. So you can check out the buy me a coffee link in the description below. Now I checked out all the online sources out there and I'm going to show everything to you. you know, their website, the regulators, their partners, their US regulators and US partners, and even the investors in the company. So we are going to cover a lot of information. I hope you will stick with me all the way to the end. So we wanna make sure that your money is safe and protected because it's your money, right? So without further ado, let's get right into it. So our first destination is the GoTrade website so let's get into that so this is the go trade website it's actually at heygotrade.com so this is their promise you can invest commission free so this is available from 150 countries and you can invest in fractional shares for as little as one dollar so i showed you how to do that you know in my go trade app review you can check that out you can check out the links below this video is about determining if Go trade is safe. So let's look at the fine print. So when you are doing your investigation, you go all the way down and look for the fine print. So over here, we can actually see here that the name, the legal name of Go Trade is actually TR8 Securities Inc. And Go Trade is the trading name of TR8 Securities Inc. So TR8 Securities Inc. is licensed to carry on business as a Labuan Securities Licensee under the Labuan Financial Services and Securities Act. So I checked out what is the Labuan Financial Services and Securities Act and I found out that uh, th that is the act that created the Labuan Financial Services Authority. So this is a Malaysian government authority. Okay, so Labuan is, I think, a free port. It's a free port city in Malaysia. So it is an international business center in the Labuan FSA website. So this is a government website. So you can go to areas of business and go for, um, what was that? Financial services and capital markets. So under capital markets, uh, that is one of the areas that the Labuan FSA overseas. Over here on the right side, you can actually see the list of securities licensees. So going to the list of securities licensees, so these are the licensed brokers 
who are licensed to operate in the Level 1 International Financial Center. And TR8 Securities is here in number 11. So it is a securities licensee under the Level 1 FSA. So they have government oversight. So going back here, obviously there is risk when you invest in the stock market. So at that much is not a scam. So it's possible that you can still lose money if you don't make the right choices. But if you are making the right choices, then we want to make sure that your money is safe and protected. Now, how are they able to transact in the US if they are a Malaysian company? When you look down here, custody, clearing, and execution services are provided by Alpaca Securities LLC. So Alpaca Securities is a member of FINRA and SIPC. Now we're going to look at FINRA and SIPC later, but we can see here that they actually have a US-based partner. So there is a US securities uh, broker that handles the custody, meaning GoTrade does not have your money. And that clearing and execution, they're not the ones doing it. They have a US partner doing it for them. So let's look at Alpaca Securities LLC. So when we search for Alpaca Securities LLC, we'll actually find here uh, that this is their website, alpaca.markets. So when we click on be taken here and Alpaca is a technology company. So they're not just a securities brokerage company. They are a technology company and they provide the API for stock trading. So API is the programming interface. Uh, that's why GoTrade can trade in the US or can allow trades in the US because they use the APIs that Alpaca provide so looking at uh, down here okay so alpaca is a registered securities broker or at least they're claiming to be a registered securities broker they are a member of finra this is the financial industry regulatory authority so this is the a u.s based regulatory body so they they govern the brokers in the u.s Alpaca is also a member of SIPC, and we will look at that later as well. So when we click here, let's look at FINRA's broker check. So this is brokercheck.finra.org. Right, so we can see here Alpaca Securities LLC. So I guess their legal name is Alpaca DB Inc. Uh, this is their president, David Raftiset. John Thomas Tarola, their CCO. They are regulated or they are licensed in 52 U.S. states and territories. Okay. And the firm does have referral or financial arrangements with other brokers and dealers. So this is where you know, their arrangement with GoTrade comes in. Just to make sure, let's also try to search for FINRA independently. All right. So there is FINRA.org. All right, so this is FINRA. Uh, let's make sure about FINRA. Okay, so FINRA is dedicated to protecting investors and safeguarding market integrity in a manner that facilitates vibrant capital markets. So for every investor in America, so you know that the US is a very, you know, uh, litigious country. You just, it's easy to get sued in America. So if you're doing business in the US, uh, you need to make sure that you're following all of these regulations. So it's good to know that Alpaca is uh, under this organization, now FINRA. Just to make sure again, there is a broker check here. All right. So I think this is the same, right? This is the same interface, but just to make sure, let's go to firm and search for Alpaca. All right, so there's only one result for Alpaca. That's Alpaca Securities LLC. And we are led to the same, right? So it is the same uh, page. So just wanted to make sure. Also a member of the SIPC. So let's look at what the SIPC is. SIPC, what is SIPC? So it is the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. So over here, 
Uh, under Wikipedia, it is a federally mandated nonprofit member funded US corporation. So created under the Securities Investor Protection Act, mandates membership for most US registered broker dealers. Okay, so let's look at the website sipc.org. So about SIPC. There we are a nonprofit corporation. We work to restore investors' cash and securities when their brokerage firm fails. So in this case, if Alpaca, Alpaca is the member, so if Alpaca fails, we have a problem, then we go to the SIPC for this uh, for the insurance. Okay. Now if Go Trade, okay, if Go Trade fails, since our accounts are in the custody of Alpaca. And it's quite possible that we just need to go directly to Alpaca and figure out how we're going to get our money back. But as far as Alpaca Securities is concerned, it is a member of SIPC and SIPC is going to be the one. It's the organization that ensures the safety of our uh, money of, or at least of our stocks. So let's look at the list of members over here. Okay, so we search for Alpaca. All right, so there we can confirm that uh, Alpaca Securities is a registered broker dealer and it is a member of SIPC. So SIPC ensures your account. So this is guaranteed by the US government. It ensures your account by up to $500,000. $500,000. Okay, we have established that as far, as far as their U.S. partners are concerned, okay, GoTrade works with Alpaca Securities and Alpaca Securities is a registered securities broker. So it is under the oversight of the U.S. SEC and it's a member of FINRA and SIPC. So you already have all these regulatory bodies making sure that they're not doing anything you know, uh, out of the ordinary so at least we can be sure that this is legitimate it is safe okay but how did they get into this business the crunchbase is like a directory of all of these tech companies go trade has raised 150 dollars of pre-seed money from y combinator okay so this is very important because y combinator is a well-known incubator of a lot of technology companies uh, but if you see here these are the companies that Y Combinator has financed they have financed Airbnb you know Airbnb DoorDash Stripe Moose Dropbox Coinbase which is a very recent IPO Zapier right so all of the, uh, these other companies are not as popular anymore but uh, Reddit, okay, that's a very popular company. But as you can see, oh, GoTrade is in very good company. So let's look at the startup directory. So over here, let's look at GoTrade. So there, GoTrade Singapore. Okay, so GoTrade now also has a, I guess, a Singapore company, uh, but they still have. Uh, their, I guess, their legal name, you know, TRA Securities Inc., uh, originated in Labuan Financial Services Authority. Now, I don't know what is the, I guess, what is the relationship between Malaysia and Singapore. If, I don't know if they have these overlapping oversight, uh, but so far, uh, this is what I have found out. Okay, so they are part of Y Combinator, and the founders are. Rohit Mulani and Norman Wanto. There's actually one more, I think David Grant, but uh, he's not in the Y Combinator website. So just to give you an idea of what I looked at the about page of uh, Y Combinator, again, they provide seed funding for startups. So to get into Y Combinator, no, it's not easy to get into that because they do have a rigorous interview process. Um, and if you are out there to just scam people, uh, they'll be able to find find out about that. 
Okay, because they look at your business model and you have to prove that your business model makes sense. Now, they have funded ideas, they have funded companies that have gone bankrupt, uh, but that doesn't mean that they are actually funding scams. So if you are concerned if GoTrade is a scam, I think for me, this convinces me that GoTrade is not a scam. It is a perfect, perfectly legitimate company. They were given $150,000 by this uh, incubator and incubators don't just give out money to scammers. So that is that for me is enough information to go that uh, GoTrade is definitely legitimate. It is safe to use. It is not a scam. There is oversight on the actual company, right? GoTrade, which is under, which is actually known as TR8 Securities uh, Inc. And they are under the governance of the Labuan Financial Services Authority, but they don't do the actual trades. The actual trades are executed by Alpaca Securities LLC. And Alpaca is a, a member of FINRA, um, and it is also a member of SIPC and these two organizations uh, provide the oversight and the insurance to make sure that if Alpaca fails, at the very least, our accounts are safe with them. All right, so that's a lot of information for me. I am convinced that uh, GoTrade is a legitimate app. It's an exciting app. So it's still on the startup stages, so it's, it's great to join in now while they're starting up. And you know, I actually did a review. If you have not seen that review, you know, you can check out you know, that review somewhere here. Maybe you can check out uh, over here. And if you want to find out more about which stocks to buy, say you already have GoTrade, what stocks can I buy in GoTrade? And you can check out this playlist here for some ideas on uh, what stocks to buy. All right. So I hope that you will make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this and to get more stock investing and real estate investing ideas in the future. Always remember, it's a great day to make deals and I hope that all of your deals will push through. I will see you in the next video.